Hello, I am Professor S.S. Ayer. We discuss about finite element analysis software, different basic information. In finite element analysis, there are some commercial softwares like pre-processing, numeric analysis, post-processing. In pre-process, we find, we finalize a FA model. In process, we conduct numerical analysis. In post-process, we see results. In pre-processor, there is generate nodes, elements, boundary conditions, material properties, loads, and data file. In solution, there is generate elements, matrices, compute nodal values, derivatives, and store results. In post-processor, there is analyze results like display curves, counters, deform shapes. In pre-processor, there is select analysis type like structure and structural static analysis, modal analysis, transient dynamic analysis, buckling analysis, contact, steady state thermal analysis, transient thermal analysis. Next, we select element types like 2D element or 3D element. There is also linear and quadratic like truss, beam, shell, plate, solid. Next, we use material properties like energy, density, different material properties. Then we find nodes. After then we build assign connectivity. Also next we apply boundary conditions and loads. Next there is solve the boundary value problem. After then in post process we see the results like displacement, stress, strain, natural frequency, temperature, time history. This is the mathematical model. In mathematical model a model is symbolic device built to simulate and predict aspects of behavior of a system, abstraction of physical reality. In fundamental, there is many engineering problem phenomenon can be expressed by governing equations and boundary conditions. In governing equation, there are elastic problems, thermal problems, fluid flow, electrostatics. We solve these problem using governing equation and applying boundary conditions. This is a set of simultaneous al algebraic equations. There is matrix of K into U is equal to F. In fundamental, there is K is used for property, U is equal to behavior, F is equal to action. Then in property, we check shipness, conductivity, viscosity, dielectric, permittivity. In behavior, we check displacement, temperature, velocity. Electric potential in action we check force, heat source, body force and charge. It is very difficult to solve algebraic equation for the entire domain. So divide the domain into a number of small simple elements. It is also called a discretization. In there is a field quantity is interpolated by polynomial over an element. In adjacent elements share the degree of freedom at connecting nodes. Obtain the algebraic equation for each element, put all the elements equations together. Solve the equations obtaining unknown variables at nodes like k into u is equal to f is equal to u is equal to k inverse into f. APM uses the concept of piecewise polynomial interpolation. By connecting elements together, the field quantity becomes interpolated over the entire structure in piecewise fashion. A set of simultaneous algebraic equations at nodes. Like K is given stiffness matrix, X is given displacement, F is given load. There are different types of structure analysis like static analysis used to determine the displacement stresses under static loading conditions. Both linear and nonlinear static analysis Nonlinearities can include plasticity, stress, stiffening, large deflection, large strain, hyperelasticity, contact surface, and creep. In modal analysis, used to calculate the natural frequencies and more shapes of a structure. In harmonic analysis, used to determine the response of structure to harmonically time varying loads. In transient dynamic analysis, used to determine the response of a structure to arbitrary time varying loads. All non-linearity mentioned under static analysis above are allowed. In spectrum analysis, an extension of a model analysis used to calculate stress and 
strains due to response spectrum. In buckling analysis used to calculate the buckling loads and determine the buckling mode shape, both linear and buckling and non-linear buckling analyses are possible. In explicit dynamic analysis, this type of structure analysis is only value available in the ANC CLS Dyna program. In sp special purpose features like fracture mechanics, composites, fatigue, P method, beam analysis. Elements are defined by the following properties like dimensionality, nodal points, geometry, degree of freedom, nodal forces. These are the element types like 1D beam, 2D tetrahedral, 2D hexahedral, 3D brick. Okay, thanks.